Okay, after you get your chessboard done and you've got your chess pieces on there, you've got all the chess pieces, what we're going to do is to uh, just animate a, f a couple of moves on your chessboard and also pan across the board with the camera. So I need to find my camera first. Click the eyeball, make sure it's there. There's my camera up there. I'm going to start in a different position and do black first. So if I hit zero on my keypad, it brings me into the camera view. I can unlock the view, make it a little bigger, lock it again, and then move around. So I'm going to change the view to this view here, and I'm going to move one of these black pieces first. So if I uh, click on it, I've got these all selected together because they're the same object. Uh, when I duplicated it, that's what happened. It put them all as one object, so I need to separate them. If yours, uh, I'll do that real quick. If yours is that way, you can do the same. I need to separate one. I'm going to separate this one out so I can move it. So I will go into edit mode, top view 7 on the keypad, um, Z for wireframe, and B for border select. Select that one right there, hit P on the keyboard, and separate by selection. Okay, now if I go back to edit mode, or object mode, and right click, I've got my one object that I can move around freely. So, we're going to use the the keyframes, if it will let me. Nope, okay. So I've got the keyframes down here, I'll start with number one keyframe number one and set a keyframe. I want it to start right here. So I on the keyboard and location rotation scale. Then I'm going to go, um, this move will take me about two seconds so I'll go to about 45, frame 45. It's not exactly two seconds but close enough. It's easier to round that way or to calculate. Um, and I'm going to move it out to uh, where? Right here, why not? When I've got it there and I'm on the right key f on the right frame, I'll set a keyframe. Okay, so I can see my move. Then when I'm out, um, I'll go another five frames before I start panning with the camera. So I'm on frame 50. And now I need to locate my camera right click on my camera and it gives me a new set of frames but my my keyframes are still there oh, there we go uh, my keyframes are still moving that piece I just can't see them because I'm selected on the camera now if I go into camera view this uh, I need to set let's see I was on I need to go where, which frame I ended on which was 50 and set a frame there that's where I'm going to start my pan now I'm going to just pan over to this view, zoom in a little bit, wherever I stop that's where it's going to stop and I need to, oh, nope, I need to select my, so this pan is going to take about three seconds so three seconds at 24 frames per second is about 75 so from 50, uh, 75 is what, 125 so I'll go to frame 125 and then I'll pan, get the right view for my pan and I'm going to take this chess piece out next to the other one so I'll stop right there and set a keyframe and then I can scrub through my keyframes and it shows my pan okay now I don't really want it to zoom in like that so if I come out of the camera view zoom out a little I can see my camera flying through the air it just kinda goes straight across the, the board and I want it to come out a little bit so I'm gonna stop about a third of the way in bring it out a little bit and set a keyframe I'm gonna go another third and pull it out a bit and set another keyframe and then it kind of comes out around the board a little better okay and I could set uh, you could set as many keyframes as you want to make it more smooth mine's not going to be real smooth but it's good enough for now so if I go back in I can see my camera view and that's kind of nice so it stops right there I'm going to give it five frames to settle and then come back out I'll click on my white piece change my view this white piece I've already separated so I'll right click on it to select it, set a keyframe there, and then pull it out next to the other piece. I don't know if that's a right, uh, a correct chess move, but whatever. So now, um, oh, I need to move my keyframes. So that will be about two seconds, a little less than two seconds, because it's not quite far as far as the other one. So from frame 130, we'll go about 20 frames to 150, and then move him out 
and set a keyframe and I'll go five more and then we'll be done so I don't need these extra frames if I render it's going to render all that's in gray light gray so I need to get rid of those others so it ends at about um, 155 so I'll just go to 155 and that's all the keyframes that it will render okay, and I can't see my, ca my camera's moving but I can't see it unless I'm in camera view but that's the animation. If I go to camera view, I guess I can look at all of the moves. My first move, it pans around, and the second move there, and then stops. So that's uh, basic animation for this. Uh, if you wanted to do, you could do as many moves as you wanted. Of course, you wouldn't want to pan uh, back and forth every time, maybe every few moves or uh, a couple times uh, throughout the game. But do that. Render it. Remember when you render to come down to the options and you need to select the folder that you're rendering it to and select AVI JPEG and if it's the right folder and give it a name then when you hit render animation render it will go through and render it and depending on how many modifiers you have on it it might take a really long time because video takes a long time you have 155 frames which isn't a ton but it's it's more than we've done and it might take a little while so if you do it correctly it will give you a file and you can get that file and submit it to canvas